we mentioned the special teams aspect. So Andy Reid, with the new kickoff rules, he had hinted at a new kicker at a kickoff. Not I know everyone, the Bucker's a big name right now. Everyone's talking about Harrison Bucker. But potentially his role could be kind of reduced to being just the just kicking field goals. Um, so this is Andy Reid on uh, potential of a new person uh, with kickoffs. Lewis and uh, Justin Reed as far as kickers on the kickoff. I like to have somebody that can go back, you know, is able to make a tackle. I mean, Bucker is able to make a tackle, but I really don't want him making tackles all year long. You know, if you watch the XFL, we watched every play. Um, I bet kickers were involved in probably at least 25 to 40 percent of the tackles. You know, either either trying to make a guy bounce back or making the tackle itself or just missing the tackle. So, you know, we don't want Bucker in that situation, you know, but he will be a kicker. He'll be a guy that we will use in certain situations. He's got a lot of uh, ability to move the ball, you know, where, whereas those other guys may, may not be as, you know, apt to doing that. And, uh, you know, we'll, you, we'll use him. He can still kick a touchback if we need it. You know, you're just giving up the ball. If we do kick a touchback out of the back of the end zone, now they're getting it out to 30 instead of the 25. So that five yards makes a big difference. I mean, that's another 3% chance that, you know, you're giving the offense uh, against you to score. So. What's the early evaluation on, on guys like Justin Reed and anybody? Well, Justin, Justin can cover. I mean, he can kick, he can, right. which he can do, and then he can go down there and make tackles. You know, he, he's an extra guy that they're probably not accounting for. You know, I mean, they know that that guy can go down and tackle, but a guy like Justin is a guy that they have to worry about. You have to get him blocked, and you have to give up blocking somebody else. So, you know, that, that's the whole thought of that. Is it something about different kicking styles that might help you out as you're doing this? Experience? It's really, you know, hang time doesn't matter at all now. So hang time is out the door. I mean, you could do it, but it's not doesn't mean anything. <laughs> but you know, so now it's about accuracy, seeing what you're getting, how the returners are lined up, and then trying to kick away from them in the corners. But you you can't take too much of a risk because if you hit it out of bounds, now you're giving the ball up at the forty. Yeah. If you hit it short of the target zone, you're giving the ball to the forty. So I mean, there's a there's a fine line between uh, you know pushing the limits and the edges, and then or just going down and, and saying, hey, we can cover it. We're gonna you know, give them a ball like they can cover and then go down there with a kicker that, that can cover. So Is there any benefit to touchbacks now at all? Yeah, there's benefit. I mean, if you're trying to get out of a game, you're up. You know, you don't want to give up a possibility of a turnover, you know, I mean, or, or a big return against you. you. You know, you just bang it out of the bat and you just say, hey, we're going to give up the five yards and give them the ball to the 30, which Barker can do. I mean, obviously, you know, he can, he can do. Maybe an advantage too to having a guy like Justin with kickoffs as being an extra tackler? Yeah, potentially. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Once you get through that first wall, there's – not a whole lot past that other than that guy. So, so Jenny, you were a special teams coach. And obviously, it was only a little small sound, but on it. But it seems like they are kind of thinking about it, uh, potentially putting Justin Reed back there as as a, as a guy who can maybe make the tackle out there, especially if we are going to kind of engage. And, you know, you're not kicking it in touchbacks anymore. You're kicking it, you know, kind of more, more like uh, – more hang time on those things, and you can have uh, an element of your kicker being able there to make the, the last line of defense – what do you make of uh, Andy Reid kind of contemplating this uh, Justin Reid being our uh, kickoff guy? Oh no! Uh, just hearing about it, I think it, it's it's different. I, I've never really thought about that uh, scenario in itself, uh, but it would help if if now look if, if there's being a lot of returns or touchdowns or whatnot makes a lot of sense. So he would be somebody as an option. For sure, uh, you know, just to uh, to make sure nothing like that happens, right? Um, so, yeah, he says, yeah, we we thought about it. I think it's something that just a thought. I think it's a thought. Um, but I, I think with your coverage, it should still be uh, good enough to make the tackles. And even if Justin Reed's back there, uh, the wall. So when you set it up. You still got athletic guys that can still go block Justin Reed. So I don't know. We had to see. We had to see as far as like the what the returns look like. Is and I don't know. I, I haven't I've been looked at any of like how how the how everything shakes out from uh, the other leagues. If there's been a whole lot of t- returns for touchdowns, I'm not sure. So I don't know. I have no idea. Zamet maybe Zamet is another guy. Possibly, you know, you Could can look be. at. It. Yeah. yeah, I don't really know the difference between kicking off a tee versus kicking a rugby ball. That's I mean, more. It seems like it's more of a punt, right? Because you're, you're just drop kicking it. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. 
See, the, 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 now this is the, where we get to talk about his game. Where I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> no, yeah, no. I'm sure. I'm sure you could do it for sure. So, so uh, I don't know. Maybe Andy was just looking at it like, oh, yeah, that's that's a potential thing, you know. So, like I said, I, I don't know how if there was a whole lot of touchdowns based off of like that new rule. So, I, I, I do. I do like that. The fact that even like Todd's playing this. As sh- I mean, it tells you that they're, they're being really creative with this whole thing, and, like, maybe we can use it to our advantage. Being able to use a guy who's a safety. Not every team has a safety who can kick, and Justin Reed's done it in the game before, so it's like we we, we have seen him do it in the game before. Now we can do it as far as, you know, if we are going to try to, you know, not yeah. kick it throughout the end zone, we can kick it and have another guy who can go tackle. So, so I'll say this. Justin Reed's going to get a lot of work on defense. Him coming from defense, you know, and going to kick and covering, uh, you know, kicking the ball. First, I don't want him breaking his toe or anything. I know, I know he knows how to do it, uh, but you know, I don't want him the potential for injury. Something like that happens as you're starting safety, right? Uh, I'm like this. You make sure that your kicker is taking on tackling responsibilities. You put it. You put his tail out there uh, for some drills, tackling drills, okay? Angles and 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 making sure that you you know you marrying guys. You, you start working on this as a kicker, okay? So it ain't you just coming on, on the field in, in in the in the front part, kicking in with special teams and you out of here. You are staying in here for this and you're doing some defensive drills as well. So get your guys ready. I would rather not use Justin Reed. This is me, okay? Unless it's absolutely necessary, so let me just say it there, and that's why my hesitancy was like, "Look, man, I, I, look, Justin Reed's our starting safety. Yeah. Let him be the starting safety, man." Okay, so I me, mean, he, he's been begging to get more kicking opportunities. This could this could be his time to shine, JD. <laughs> I, I get it, I get it, man. I get it, man. Shoot, but shoot, you expensive to to be out there kicking balls, you know, running down on kickoff yeah. when we got some, we we pay somebody to do that. Get get them together. So yeah, can you move when the guy kicks or is when the ball lands? It's when the ball um there, there's no movement until the ball land not lands, but when the guy catches it, that's when catches it. That, okay. that's when it comes. Um so they're trying they're trying to make kickoff return more of a more of a thing again. So I get the logic uh, b- behind it. But yeah, JD, you bring up a great point. He's a starting safety. God forbid something happens on a on a kickoff where you know you have Bucker Bucker who can do it, man. You know, I'm sure he he grew up in college where he wasn't kicking it out the end zone. So he was definitely having to go down there to make tackles. So yeah, yeah man. Get, like, get them guys together. Sure. Like a new thing. Yeah, that, hey, we pay you. We pay you to do this. So, True. hi everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.